and swimming and diving coach at the University of Minnesota. I, uh, you know, this year for me, the short course season for me, started at a Hall of Fame banquet on the campus of the University of Minnesota, having the honor of watching Jim Shelley C. Ferris inducted into the M Club Hall of Fame. And this uh, great short course season that we just had is now ending at a Hall of Fame banquet, uh, watching Jenny Shelley C. Ferris uh, being inducted into another Hall of Fame. Uh, just keep thinking, most of us, one Hall of Fame honor in our lives would be awesome, and she's averaging about one a year, which is so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I became the, uh, became the co-head coach for women at the University of Minnesota in 2004, and I was coming off a, a stint where I was coaching men only for a number of years, six or seven years, and so I was really tunnel vision. I didn't know uh, a lot of the, the girls swimming that was happening in the state of Minnesota or across the country, and so, my first order of business when I became the co-ed coach of women was to simply make calls, find out who was out there, and I was in charge of recruiting and planning uh, and roster management, so I, I really wanted to build a team from the state of Minnesota out. Uh, I thought if, if you're gonna be successful, you needed to have the best in Minnesota know that they had a home at you. When I made my calls, the name that kept coming up over and over again was Jenny. They didn't talk about her swimming. Uh, I look around the room and there's just so many elite swimmers in this room. There are a lot of good swimmers, but they didn't talk about swimming. It kept coming up the type of person Jenny was, and it was, she's the hardest worker. Uh, you'll never find anybody more competitive. You'll never find anybody more committed. You'll never find anybody more coachable. And coaches hear things like that on the, on the recruiting trail quite a bit, and every time you kind of follow up with a question, they said, no, really, you'll never find. And it kept coming up, uh, and I was really looking forward to July 1, entering your senior year, senior year when I was allowed to call her. I placed my phone call. Uh, I don't remember exactly how that call went, but I'll be candid. I, I didn't get a feeling like Minnesota was high on the list. I kind of felt like we might not be on the list at all. Uh, but the tone in her voice, how appreciative she was, uh, I felt like um, she really valued the call and she valued the time. Um, that story in and of itself is a great one and I don't have time for it, but that recruiting process was outstanding, getting to know her and the Shaughnessy family. <laughs> Jenny ended up coming to the U. You know, somebody coming out of high school that had won a number of state championships. She was Minnesota State High School Swimmer of the Year, senior year. Uh, she was heavily recruited and highly touted nationally. And she walked onto our campus and she literally changed the culture of our program. Uh, before Jenny arrived on our campus, uh, let's just say I finished a year where we didn't have a single point scored in NCAs, zero points, uh, in place. Uh, her first year in Minnesota, she was instrumental in putting our team in the top 25. She allowed our team a culture that has sustained success. We've never been outside the top 25 since she left our program in the position she left it in. During her time with us, she was a 12-time NCAA All-American, multiple-time Big Ten champion. Her senior year, she was Big Ten Swimmer of the Championships. She won the Big Ten Medal of Honor, which is the highest honor that can be bestowed upon a student athlete in the Big Ten. Uh, as I just mentioned, she's uh, now an M Club member of the Hall of Fame. She's also a Minnesota Aquatics Hall of Fame. Now she's a member of this Hall of Fame. I'm not sure how many more Hall of Fames there are to go. Um, but I go back to when I think about Jenny, her name comes up to this day, it comes up constantly at the U, and they don't talk about those accomplishments and her swimming, they talk about her, the type of person she was and the type of person that she is and what she meant to our program. And I, I uh, am truly honored uh, that she asked me tonight to be here to present her into the Hall of Fame. Jenny, congratulations on both of
Kelly Kramer, Terry Danley. Um, I couldn't have asked for two better people um, to, to lead me through that college swimming experience. Um, they were great coaches, great people. They cared about myself and my teammates as more than just athletes, but as people. Um, and it's so fun to keep in touch with them today and, and watch the program's success. Um, it's just, it was just a wonderful opportunity. Uh, none of my successes would have been possible without, without the guidance from Kelly and Terry. Um, I also have to thank my high school coach, Paul Bachman, for his leadership um, and his, um, he helped inspire a great work ethic in, in all of my teammates in high school. Um, and last but certainly not least, um, I'd like to thank my parents, uh, Bill and Heidi Shaughnessy, um, just for their unwavering support over the years. Um, the countless hours spent driving to and from practices, meets, um, volunteering their time. My mom's not here with us anymore, but my dad is here tonight um, receiving his own award for, for um, dedicating so much of his free time, nearly all of his free time to um, to this sport. Um, whenever I call him, I have three boys at home, and we always joke that when we call grandpa, he's going to be at the pool or he's going to be at work, which, which is going to be. Um, but I am just so lucky for the support that I had over the years that I was um, swimming and competing. So thank you all so much. Congratulations to everyone receiving an award tonight, and thank you to everyone who played a role in organizing this event. Thanks so much. Thank you.